Hi, welcome to this die designer video tutorial. For this video, I would like to show you Danley pad retainers. Uh, they can be found in the components menu. Scroll down to Danley pad retainers or DPR from the command line. Click it. Uh, brings up a dialog box of the different of the pad retainers. Uh, we have a number of options. Let me run run you through these. We have the plan view bottom. We have the plan view where the head is actually on the face, which would in this case be uh, counterboard into the stripper rather than like the die shoe. And then you have your profile views. Uh, we have a number of different uh, diameters and the corresponding length based on that diameter. Uh, we have the diff few different styles. We have the uh, the uh, standard with no flats, the reverse which comes with the flats, and then the standard which actually comes with the flats too. So um, you'll see it updates the catalog number down here uh, so you know what you're looking at. Um, and yeah, uh, we also have a help menu. So you click on that, brings up a short description, some of the intelligence associated with these components, and then you can click the video demonstration to uh, see this video. So yeah, I am going to put in um, the standard with no flats on the bottom. We'll use the uh, three-quarter diameter and for right now, the, the length looks good. Um, if I have to adjust it, I will. I'm going to start in a profile view because that will help me determine uh, the length I got based on my, on my stripper travel. So yeah, if you look down here, it prompts you for an insertion point. I'm going to go off point, point 0.625, and then the direction to the head will be up towards the punch shoe, or the, yeah, the punch shoe, and yeah, draws it in. Uh, normally there's a set screw in here backing this up. It does not show that, but uh, that's actually kind of irrelevant. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup. And, um, yeah, so we have it in. Um, let's check what our travel is here. And it's 062. Um, probably not an accurate number. Uh, like I said, maybe I would have to make it longer and make this uh, a counterbore. But, but for demonstration purposes, I think you understand. So I will stay with that 1.750 length. So, again, components... DPR, and now we're going to put them in the plan view from the bottom. Okay, I will go off the middle, and I will use that 0 0.625. I'm going to copy this over uh, here, here. Erase the original. Now I can also use the touch command for this. So I put the mouse over the component, uh, click the designated mouse button, and yeah, if you look down here, it's asking me for an insertion point, and we'll do the same thing off middle, accept that, and then um, yeah, so that's some of the intelligence where you can start the command without having to type it in or go up to the menu. And, uh, and yeah, so we got four of them in there. Um, now I'll show you a little bit more intelligence. I, this was, this isn't a real design. It's just some stuff I've been using for these video demonstrations. So I will balloon that and we will be at balloon 109. Click on it. 
and draw the balloon and we know it's linkable so I'll select it and yeah that's all we you'll see for now but when you run this bill of materials you'll see this 109 for these uh, Danley pad retainers so if I come over here and do BM for bill of materials you'll see um, it picked up this 109 for required their purchased uh, pad retainer with the catalog number so kinda cool um, kinda simple adds intelligence um, if I copy this if I copy this over Um, just to show you a couple things here. First of all, um, the tap toll would be in the stripper plate, and in, in the way based on the way I did this in the um, in the profile view. So if I was detailing that stripper plate, I'd just erase the actual um, uh, pad retainer TT, and it changes into a tap toll for going through the punch pad and the punch pad backup plate, it's a drill hole, so I can use Object Transform. Okay, let me show you one more thing. So if you look, it transformed a sixteenth of an inch oversize what the diameter was. Now what about the this head diameter, you know, that goes, goes through the punch shoe? Well, I could just measure the head diameter, D for distance. You can see it's one inch. So DR, and we will use 1.0625 for the drilled hole diameter. Um, so, so yeah, it, it does the automatic transform for the, uh, the body diameter, but for the head diameter, just measure it, start the drill command, and... Um, and put it in, use the search and replace die designer function. And if I were to run a whole chart, and I will use the select option and select just these three entities, um, you can see it, um, it's, it's good. So, uh, you know, we got our, our clearance is a 1 to 16 through for the head. For our, the body, it's a 13 16 drill through. And then the tap size is that 5 16 18. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, you know what? Did I show you? Did I show you the help? Um, just to run you through that, um, clicking on the help. Yeah, I did. I did the video demonstration, but um, I, I don't think I touched on the intelligence. So, once again, the bill of materials, I showed you that. The object transform, it transforms into a drilled hole, the diameter of the pad not the pad head, the pad uh, body diameter, and then uh, the touch command. I showed you the touch command too. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.